In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the circle avatar effect that we see here. Now, I had these vector shapes, and I was looking at those and thought that they would really make some nice layouts uh, for an e-learning course. So I went ahead and created a template for you. So I've got the, uh, if we look at this, you can see there's different layouts. Um, they're all on the master slide, so you've got some layouts to play with. And then you can always make your own from that. But they're all kind of hinged on this idea that you have this kind of avatar that kind of extends outside of the shape. So let's go ahead and figure out how do we create that effect and then work with the template that we have. So I'm going to start with the blank slide. The first thing I want to do is these all these templates here are on the master slide. So I want to grab one of those circles because it's already formatted. So I'm going to go to View, uh, Slide Master, and you can see I've got a slide here. I'll just grab this first circle here. So just hit Control C, that'll copy it, and then close it. I'm on a blank slide, I'll do Control V, that paste it. And I'm just going to move it over. The only thing I'm concerned about with this is that it has a background color and it or fill color, and it has the outline uh, border and shape that matches the template. So we're going to use that for easy formatting. So now what I want to do is insert a character, and this effect is basically built on two characters. So one image, uh, one character becomes your shape, so it becomes a circle with the border, and then the other image is just placed on top of that, and then you crop it so it looks like it's extending outside of the shape. So let's go ahead and insert a character. So I'm going to go to Articulate. Um, you can choose whatever characters you have. Uh, what I look for is I'm going to do a full body pose. And I always kind of look for poses like this where there's something sticking out, right? So it looks like, you know, the head or arms or whatever sticking out. So it kind of works with that, um, that circle look. So I'm going to insert this. And I like to do the full body um, because it gives me more options for cropping. Now, you can scale the character up. It really doesn't matter because you can fix all that later. The key though is once you've got your character sized right, you don't want to uh, mess with the sizing of the character until you're all done. Uh, the other thing you'll notice, this character came in with a drop shadow. So we want to turn that off because when you stack the characters, you don't want to drop shadow. Otherwise, you'll see where the seam is, uh, where they're cropped. So let's go ahead and go to Format. We're going to go to Picture Effects shadow and we'll say no shadow. Okay, so I've got my character. I'm going to duplicate. I just hit control. You see my cursor turns into a little plus. I'm going to drag it and I've duplicated the character. So this one will be our shape character and this one will be our extend outside the shape character. So I'll grab my character. Now in PowerPoint you can crop to a one-to-one -one aspect ratio, or you can crop two aspect ratios. A circle is a one-to-one -one aspect ratio, so we're going to crop to that. So we're going to start, select your character, go to Crop, and then you see Crop to Aspect Ratio, and you have one-to-one. -one. And now um, you can see it's just selecting the center of the image. What we're going to do is we're going to crop it up, obviously, where the head's at. Now, something to keep in mind, you have these anchor points here for cropping at the corners. If you hold the Shift key down and you drag it, you can see, oops, I'm not holding the Shift, I was holding Control. If you hold the Shift key down, you can see uh, the square is retained, so that that one-to-one -one aspect ratio is retained. So we're going to go ahead, make it a little bit smaller. What I'm looking for is you know, an easy way to crop the character and then have something extend outside of the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create an issue. So we've got our character here, right? So this, this looks fine. So we're going to, um, let's, let's do this here. And this looks fine. So I've got my character here, and I did introduce an issue, but I'll show you how we fix that. Um, I've got my character. Now what I want to do is a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. So I can crop it to a shape. So we're going to crop to shape. We're going to choose oval, and that's going to make a perfect circle because we're at a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. Now all I need to do is I take the shape from the template. I'm going to go to Format Painter, which is under the Home tab, Home, Format Painter. And I'm going to apply it to this image, and now you can see I've got a circle that matches um, my template. The fill color. Now obviously, this only works if you have a transparent background on the character. So what we're going to do is drag this character over, 
and she should just snap right into place. Of course, it never works the way you want it to. Why isn't she snapping? <laughs> Is that the way it works, right? Um, I don't know why she's not snapping. All right, maybe I'm okay. There she snapped. Nope, she's not snapped. All right. We'll assume that snapped into place. Okay, so we've got our character here and I want to crop it. Uh, so it looks like she's extended out. Now you can see the issue I introduced was her elbow because I can take this character. I'm going to go to crop and when I crop her, you can see what I want to do is crop it. So I'm cropping into the inside of the, the circle, right? And so now it's looks fine, right? Except the part with her elbow. Right? Her elbow doesn't look right. And so then I'd have to fix that. So we're going to fix that. We're just going to move this one out of the way. We can come over here, grab our, our circle shape. We're going to crop that and you can play around then uh, with the cropping again, hold the shift key down and you can extend that circle and you can play around with a cropping. So I might do something like this where I don't have to worry about the elbow being on the cropped area. So now I've got my character. I can bring it in here. She's going to snap into place and crop her. And you can see I can crop her all the way down to here and it works beautifully. So now I've got this kind of character coming outside of the shape. So the next thing you can do is select both of those, hit Control G and you group it and you have a single grouped image. Now some people, here's a bonus tip, some people don't like uh, to work with the group so they want this as an image. So a couple things you can do is I would hold the Shift key down and make it as large as possible and then right click and then save as picture and then you always have it as a picture and you can insert it, right? Uh, the other option is you can use this is your original. So let's just say this is my original image here. So I'm going to go into the home and then the selection pane. And this is my Atsumi. So I'll say Atsumi Orig for original, right? So I've got that there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy her. So Control C. So I've got her copied. I'm going to turn off the original. So it's always available if I want to edit it, if I want to change the colors or whatever. I'm going to paste this one. And when I paste this one in, I'm going to paste it. And you've got this option to paste as an image. So you're going to paste it as a picture. So now it's not a grouped image. It's just a single image, a single picture. So you can see I've got my Atsumi. So now I, if I need to change it, you know, I can delete this. So I'll just hide her. And then I can show this and then maybe I need to change the background colors or whatever. So I've got the original to work with. So that's just a bonus uh, when you're using PowerPoint uh, for graphics like this. So we've got the Atsumi image. So I can now take her and you can see, let's just delete this. I can paste her on here and um, use her in any one of these templates. And it doesn't have to be a perfect alignment. So let's say I want to insert a new slide. I like this template here and I'm going to paste the Atsumi since we had her and I'm going to put her here and it looks perfect. Now the one thing you do get here with the image is you can see the border changes. If I actually come over here and take the original because it's a shape and the border size is fixed, watch what happens. So I'm going to paste her here and when I scale her down you can see the border sizing doesn't change. So you can see that would be the difference. So um, using the original image, uh, you maintain all of that formatting. Uh, it's just a matter of preference for you. I kind of like working with the images just because uh, for publishing and stuff, it's going to be a lot easier. But anyway, two ways to do that and uh, hopefully that helps.